Okay, so we're going to talk about universal gravitation, and we're going to use an exam do an example using our um, law of universal gravitation, and that looks like this equation, where the force between two objects is equal to our constant g, which is equal to 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11 newtons meters kilograms squared times the mass of the first object times the mass of the second object over the distance between the two of them. So we're going to say that um, we have two people sitting on a park bench and they're a meter apart. How does that sound? So our distance between the two D, we equal one meter. That always makes it really easy. And um, the mass of the one person will be 49 kilograms, and that can be the woman. And the mass of the man will be, eh, we'll say, 78 kilograms. Okay? And they're sitting on a park bench, they're a meter apart. And we want to see the force of attraction between these two strangers sitting on this park bench. And um, so we're going to fill out our equation. F is equal to G is 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11 newtons meters kilogram. Oh, that's forever. And we're going to multiply that times mass 1, 49 kilograms, times mass 2, 78 kilograms, and d squared. So it's 1 meter squared. Okay. Two mistakes people commonly make is they miss this minus 11 here and they also forget to square this term on the bottom. So I'm going to put this into my calculator and I get 6.67 exponent minus 11 times 49 times 78 divided by 1 squared which is 1 and I get 2.54 times 10 to the minus 7, and since this is a force, it's in newtons. And that is a very, very small force. Okay, that's why they're still sitting at the end of the park bench. Okay, that force of attraction between them, they don't feel it. So, anyway, just kind of times 10 to the minus 7 describes how small this force really is. So, thank you. Bye.